Okay, gas facts. Pew, 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 pew. The oxalotl is not the only member of the animal kingdom that can regenerate limbs. Flatworms and hydra can regrow their entire bodies from just a tiny piece of their original selves. Even among vertebrates, the oxalotl isn't the only animal capable of regeneration. Young frogs are known to regrow limbs, though they lose this ability when they change from tadpoles to frogs. The oxalotl keeps this throughout their entire life. While there are no known mammals that can fully regenerate missing appendages, it has been observed that mice can regenerate the tips of their toes, though loss further up the foot results in the same scarring that we would see in humans. Humans have been known to regenerate the tips of their fingers, including the bone and skin. Multiple clinical reports in the past decades have documented instances following traumatic injury. Unfortunately, this response gets weaker as the site of loss is closer to the palm. Human rib bones also show an unusual capacity to regrow and repair themselves even when a large portion is damaged. 85% of American students who are blind attend public schools. The Braille literacy rate of these students is about 10%. Each year, there are fewer teachers qualified to instruct students in Braille literacy. In the UK, fewer than 1% of blind people can read Braille. There is a village in Russia called Sevkra, where every resident can tightrope walk. It is a tradition that dates back over 100 years, and no one knows how it started. When this singer was in grade school, no one liked her voice. Her teacher wouldn't let her join the school choir, and her classmates said she sounded like a goat. Who is it? A. Shakira, B. Celine Dion, C. Madonna, or D. Christina Aguilera? The correct answer is A. Shakira, the highest selling Colombian artist and the best selling female Latin artist of all time. She could tell those students to fuck off. Cocktails were invented so the fruit juice could mask the taste of dead animals in bootleg liquor during Prohibition. The homemade alcohol of the time was harsh. People died. It was almost never barrel aged, and most moonshiners would try to mimic flavors by adding in some suspect ingredients. They made gin by adding juniper oil to raw alcohol. They mixed in creosote, an antiseptic made from wood tar, to recreate Scotch's smoky flavor. They found they could simulate bourbon by adding dead rats or rotten meat to the moonshine and letting it sit for a few days. To make the hard liquor palatable, drinkers and bartenders mixed in various ingredients that were usually sweet and flavorful. Gin was one of the most popular beverages at the time because it was the simplest, cheapest, and fastest beverage to make. Take some alcohol, thin it with water, add glycerin and juniper oil, gin. For this reason, many cocktails during Prohibition were gin-based. Popular creations included the Bee's Knees, a gin-based drink that used honey to fend off any funky flavors, and The Last Word, which mixed gin with chartreuse and maraschino cherry liqueur. It is said to have been developed at the Detroit Athletic Club in 1922. Rum was another popular Prohibition tipple, with huge amounts being smuggled into the country from the Caribbean nations via small boats captained by rum runners. The Mary Pickford was a cocktail invented in the 1920s that used rum and red grapefruit juice. Per capita, the happiest countries in the world also ranked the highest in terms of consumers of antidepressants.